everyone. We're painting this fun little reindeer this evening. He's got a bunch of beautiful holiday lights here all around. And um, they're just a lot of fun. So um, whenever the kids are done, they can connect all the little um, lights with a pencil. Um, we did have it on a few of them and a couple people said it was a little bit confusing. So um, I think it's easy to just make little curly lines around whenever you are done. Um, but again, that's totally up to you. All right, so here we go. We also have this little extra cup of a light blue and um, that is just a little bit of a, a background color in case you needed a little bit of like a touch up um, color for your beautiful reindeer. All right, and here are the brushes that we gave you. So the first thing we're gonna do is paint the eyes white. I know the eyes are already white, but um, it's just kind of good to get that out of the way so we don't forget, give it time to dry. And then we have blue, you can have a blue-eyed reindeer, you have, we have brown, you have a brown-eyed reindeer. Whatever color eyeball reindeer you would like to have would be fine. There we go. Just painting that in. Okay, perfect. And then we're gonna start the face and there's two different browns and we're gonna choose the darker of the two browns. You can rinse your brush and then dry it in between. Now sometimes, um, I didn't even rinse my brush in between because a little white gives a little highlight. Sometimes you have to do two coats on the face. So we can always assess how that goes. So cut in around the eyes the best that you can. There we go, getting him all filled in here. Now, if you want to just take your brush and just kind of very lightly uh, use it on its side and just kind of, see how I just did that? It just went like this, boop, right on that little line. Um, that just gives it a nice little sort of separating, separating line there. And like I said, for those little curls, those little lines you want to add, a lot of people don't even do paint for them. They just use a black marker or a black Sharpie. You know what I mean? Especially if you have younger kids, you just let that dry a little bit or hit it with a blow dryer. Um, if you're like a teacher and you're doing this as like a one or two part thing, um, you know what I mean? Like the next day they can put the little, um, little real simple little Sharpie lines on. You know what I mean? Make a little curly cue. So whatever you want to do to keep it um, simple and easy. I think that that's the way, um, that's the way to go. Oh, there's that cute little guy. Okay. Now we're going to go give our brush a little rinse and we're going to go into these antlers up here. Again, a little bit of that paint. If it's still on there, that's fine. I'll try to go around the lights where they run into the antlers. So I like not rinsing my brush for this one. You can rinse it, but I don't even rinse it because sometimes a little bit of that dark brown shines through. I'll show you, I just put like a little touch of that dark brown on that we were using. And I think it looks really good to kind of just put a little bit in here and there. It makes it look real blended and shaded. The pencil lines and the antlers, you can paint right over them or if you want them to be real defined, you could kind of define them too. It's up to you. And it's also up to like the age of the painter, you know, how much fanciness they want to get into. There we go. So any little area where you're having a hard time covering that pencil line, you can just hit that with a little bit of that darker brown. And then that little line was right about there, that little separation line, if you want to kind of keep that right around there. And again, if the kids are younger, it might not be the, might not be too easy for them, but you can always help them or whatnot. 
Again, this is the lighter brown. We're just um, using a little bit of that darker brown just to kind of accent things a little bit. We call this one the wild reindeer. Huh, got the, the holiday lights going and just so cute. All right, I'm working that little bit of that darker brown in. And like I said, anywhere that you want it to kind of define anything, you can just use that. And again, avoid all the um, holiday lights. Now, because this is a video and you can stop it and pause it and rewind it at any time, right? If you're breaking this into a two-day lesson, that's fine. A little bit one day, okay, that's all the time we have. A little bit the next day. I always tell everyone that um, breaking a project in half is always a good thing, right? Because it gives you a break from it. And when you come back, you're just as excited and then you try really hard again. So sometimes paintings, especially younger kids, um, need a little bit of a break and that's okay. Um, luckily with this one, um, I already started with the background painted in on this particular sample and um, that is an option. So let me know if that's something that you wanna choose. Usually you'll just have the pencil line and you would be painting in and around everything just as you saw here and you'd get that um, paint of the light, that cup of the light blue paint. And that does not take very long. I think each one took me about maybe 10 or 15 minutes. And then you let it dry, right? Let it dry and uh, no big deal. It all goes on pretty easily. Okay, I'm just highlighting with just wee little bits so if you use your brush the thin way, right, you can get a thin line. Okay, oh, he's looking so cute already. So you can see we already have our antlers in. Now you can rinse your brush if you want. You can see I already have so much paint left over. So save that. These paints stay good for several weeks and um, there's no trouble there. Now to make that red look a little bit darker inside the bow, I just mix a little bit of that brown with it. So I did red on my brush and just a little bit of that brown just to make inside that bow look just a little bit darker. Doesn't have to be extremely dark. This is supposed to be like the fold of the little bow, you know. And if you wanted to have a purple bow, well then you should, right? They don't all have to be the same. I tell people that all the time. It's your artwork, you know, you should make it unique. So the bow can be whatever color. That one looks a little too brown. I'm gonna put a little red back in there. There we go. We want it a reddish brown. You could always mix that on the mixing tray before you put it on if you're worried about it um, not being dark enough or whatnot. Okay, there we go. And then I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and then we're just gonna go into some regular red for this beautiful nose. Just regular bright red. I'm gonna paint that nose in. Now, a lot of people ask, do you need to have an easel? I say no. And a, a lot of times your paint actually drips um, when you have an easel. So really um, don't worry about it at all if you don't have an easel. That is not anything necessity. All right, now up here on your little holiday lights, we'll just paint these in any color you want. And I just kind of randomly start with red, since my brush is already in red. There we go. I'm probably gonna do like four of them. No mittens, no, no. There's my assistant. No mittens, no, 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 no. You may not come over, sorry. Not now, dear. She loves to supervise. <laughs> She also loves to knock everything over. Love her to bits and pieces. Huh, mittens, you're a little wild child, aren't you? Okay, so I did one, two, three, four, I'm gonna do one more. I said I was gonna stop at four, but I love red. So why not? Okay, so there's one, two, three, four. That is great. And then I'm gonna do some in that regular blue which is so pretty. So this is brighter than that background blue. This is your background blue. This is your brighter blue. 
And again, you can do these ones wherever, you know, however you want. There we go. And I'll do a couple of the blue ones. Okay, I'm going to do three or so of those ones. So now I have the red and the blue. And then we have a really pretty green. And I'm going to do, you can rinse your little brush in between. Oh, I love the green ones. I had someone do this the other day and they did little white lights too. And that's fine. Whatever colors you want. And then there's purple. Don't want to forget my purple. No, no, no. I would be sad if I didn't get some purple lights on there. All right, I'm gonna get to my purple before I get too far and then I don't have any left. All right, and again, you can rinse and dry your brush in between. There's my, oh yeah. My purple lights. Okay. Get a little bit much on my brush. My supervisor's still here. Say hi, Mittens. Pss, 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 pss. Say hi. That was a pretty girl. <laughs> she really does love to watch me paint. She just watches me. Surprised my youngest son hasn't come in yet. Sometimes he'll make a surprise appearance as well and say hi to everyone. Mittens, you're going to knock everything over. No, 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 no. See, I said hi. Now I just opened the, the door for her to come over and start knocking over my paint cups. No, 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 no. Okay, sit down. Be good, girl. No, don't be walking back over there again. Mittens. Mommy's going to have to put you on the floor. No. Sit. No. Be good, girl. No. <laughs> She's so bad. Okay, let's see. I feel like up here, uh, what color should I do? Maybe one more blue one up there. I think that'll be a good one. All right, I'm going to get my brush a little rinse and a dry. Now we're going to let these ornaments dry while we work on the bow more and work, no, get down, no. Mm -mm. Sorry, my cat is really getting crazy. Uh, I'll work. Come here, come here, pretty girl. Okay, good girl. We'll let those dry a little bit. Okay, now you can have any colors um, for the eyes for your reindeer. I think I'm gonna do little blue eyes for this little handsome guy here. Cute. Good. I'm going to just let those dry a little bit. And if you have a, someone with a little finger, you could even do two little fingerprints. Bing, bing, right? Depending on what age um, the child is that you're working with. So um, that is a fun one too. My brush had a little bit of purple left on it. And that's another good way to just get a little definition into that bow. See, so I just put a little streak of purple on there. All right, now I'm going to paint the rest of my bow. Nice and red, just bright red now. And you can see a little bit of a difference from the inside of the bow there. If you can't see any difference, you can always add a little bit more, like a little streak of purple or something like that, just to kind of give it that little bit of a shaded color. There we go. Wiggle along this side. There we go. I always tell everyone to paint in the direction that like an item would go. So if you think about a bow, it kind of like comes together in the middle. Just kind of helps to add a little bit of realism to the reindeer. I'm gonna give him a little round uh, knot. That's the knot of the bow right there. Make sure that's all filled in and kind of get that little knot going. Then this is two little pieces of ribbon that come down here as well. There we go. And like I had been saying before today, um, a good way to add just a little bit of definition but not like completely get things different is just a wee little touch of purple 
in with the red. See how nice that works? It looks like a nice little, nice little shading aspect, but it still keeps the painting very cheerful. See how that blends a little bit? I'll just show that again. It's just a little bit of purple on my brush. See how easy? And I'll just do a little bit more bow definition here. And with that nice red that we give you, this works really well. It's a great little trick to make things look super def you know, defined without changing them very much. And then I'll put a couple little lines there and a couple little lines there, just to make it look like our bow is folded. Oh my gosh, this little guy is looking so cute. Then I'm gonna use this nice dark purple as my little ornament bottoms. I've had people like um, put red ones on the green and like you can do multicolor, um, however you would like to work it is totally fine. I'm just going to do purple ones, but again, you could take your time. Like maybe on the purple ones, I'll do something a little different. Um, but you could definitely do whatever color ones and really make it like a fun little pattern. Like I think I'm going to put red bottoms on some of those purplish ones. And kids love to choose colors. So this is a great way that doesn't hurt anything, right? To let them choose. I've seen kids put little fingerprints too to kind of add extra um, joy to the painting. It's super adorable. So don't, don't uh, rule out fingerprints as a fun way to just add extra little color and just fun with the kids. Uh, I'll show you what a little green bottom one looks like. Look how cute with a little green. Love it. I'll put a green one on this one just for fun because I think purple and green look really neat together. There. I have all our little ornament um, bottoms on. Like I said, this next part, you know, is pretty complicated for most people to paint a really thin line. A black Sharpie is great. A pencil is great if you want to kind of plan your route first. But I literally just curl around. And this isn't very dry obviously, since I just painted it. But you can see how easy it is. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of curl around. Again, let yours dry a little more than I did mine. See how cool? And just avoid any wet paint. And you can do that by just uh, blow drying it. Or like I said, push this out into like a, a two day lesson or whatever. Just give it a little time to dry in between. And this will be even easier. There we go. I'm gonna connect that last one. Okay, look how cute. Oh, let's see, I have one more here. I just wanna get onto a string as well. So keep the, the lines curly, and that's why I said if you need to plan out in advance what you're going, you know, where you're going to put what, that is fine too. And you can always do that with the pencil first. There we go. Oh my gosh, look how cute. I love it. And there we go. We finished our beautiful little reindeer with that background all painted in for you. It really does make it, um, you know, a lot easier just to kind of, um, you know, get that to completion, you know, much easier. So we have everything lined out and we're going to talk a little bit about um, highlights here too. And again, they work out best when um, everything is pretty dry, but I still want to show that because it really doesn't matter. Um, there we go, one way or the other. So I'm just going to show you how to do little highlights on each of the ornaments and on the nose and on the bow. So let this dry a little bit more than I am. You know, I try to keep the videos like a manageable length. And then look, you just put a little dash. Look at that magic. Any little pencil line you need to hide uh, if anything starts giving you trouble, I tell people all the time, what, what do you do? If something starts giving you trouble, you stop and you blow dry it. That stops all the colors from moving or changing in any way. And it is the perfect fix for pretty much every problem. And like I said, any pencil lines or any issues you need to hide, you just throw a little highlight on there. Like, oh, 
There you go. Look how cute. See how that gives, gives that so much more life within the composition. Now we're going to put a little dash of white across the nose. Look how cute. Okay, then a little bit of white in the bow at the top. And then a little bit across the top of the bow here on each side and on each part coming down. Look how cute. Okay, then I'm just gonna re um, do a little second coat of my eyeballs. And like I was telling you guys about fingertips before, this is a great way to get younger painters involved too. Like give me a little fingertip, <laughs> right? My four year old would love to do that and get his little finger on there. Look how cute. That is adorable. And like I said, they can have any color eyes that you want them to have. And then I love to take the wrong end of the brush and dip it into a little bit of white and just give each eye a little highlight. Look how cute. How happy is that? All right, everybody, I'm gonna do a little highlight on the top of the head too, um, just to kind of add a little highlight there. And I just did that highlight with a little bit of that lighter brown. That is so cute. That just helps kind of fill him in a little bit. And then that is just adorable. You know what? I don't know if I like that highlight that much. So that's okay. Maybe I don't want the highlight. I'm going to use paint over it. I think I just wanted to do a second coat maybe of some of that brown as I was looking at my original one. There we go. That's what I wanted. Just a little more brown. So if you wanted to kind of firm up some of that this will be a good time and like i said if you um, need to stop this or pause at any time i've had people like i said really have um, trouble maybe something keeps making pink you know red and white my best advice always um, is stop and blow dry it or just give it you know some time go get a snack take a break um, you know sometimes we get frustrated when we try to do too much at once give yourself um, you know, the love of just taking your time and not making yourself feel stressed. If you feel stressed, you should take a little break, you know, um, like my mittens, huh? Mittens is the master of taking a break. <laughs> she always finds some little place to sit. There was like four inches literally left on this counter with the hundred paints I have, but she finds a spot. Mittens, you going to say hi? You're my biggest fan, huh? You're my biggest fan. All right, everyone, thank you so much. I hope you had so much fun painting the wild reindeer. And thank you, everyone, and have a great holiday season.